Hey everybody, I'm TVG Hunter, and welcome back to more Costume Quest 2. I've officially run out of bad B-movie titles for this series, so we're just going to continue on as normal. And I'm also sad to say that I couldn't hit the deadline of finishing this series on Halloween. Sorry about that, just conventions and stuff got in the way of the whole thing. But I do ha plan to have this series done by the end of this week, so we can A, get back to Fallout before Fallout 4 happens, because, well, actually... Actually, it's not going to happen unless I can actually pump out at least one video before Fallout 4 because that's like on a Tuesday and usually follow updates every like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Whatever. Anyways, last time on Custom Quest 2, we did a lot of stuff. We got to, well, we finally managed to find Everett and Lucy. We got ourselves a new costume, which was the ghost. We fought two boss fights in that one. We and, well, we gotta continue on with this. I guess you could say it's an escort quest, but for now, it's more of just fighting enemy gauntlets so these two can progress. And I saw you back there. Didn't think I'd notice you. Well, technically I didn't because I did notice him until he managed to get away. So, let's just take care of this guy. I believe he's the last guy, so I could have probably taken him out in the last video, but the last one was long enough already, and I didn't want to overstay my welcome. So, let's go. Tag, you are it. But I do hope everyone's Halloween was very good this year. I know mine was, even though I was mostly stuck behind a booth at a convention. Kind of a small convention, to be exact, but eh, what can you do? And also, I probably could have knocked this guy out. He was just one single monster. I am an idiot. I also probably should have swapped out my creepy tree cards. What do I have left? Nah. We should have just trade off the cards when I have this battle. But yeah, I miss, I spent pretty much the entirety of my Halloween behind a booth at a convention. It was Retro Fest. It was, it was enjoyable. Got a good, few good things. Got a few bad things. Well, mostly bad things. Because I am an avid collector of horror, collector of horrible, horrible <laughs> can't talk, can't horrible games. All right, let's switch out these creepy tree cards. You're over here. Uh, next, you text me here. I'm actually amazing. Heroes attack does three times the damage. Grants additional hundred candy. And actually, those things are actually already good. Weak means attacks, nah. 50 HP to all, eh, we'll go with that. I see a uh, chest over there. I don't think I ever got this chest. Buzz off birds. Okay, now, now, alright. You can do that game, I guess. Hey, creepy tree card. We got king size, fun size bar. That's a mouthful. Eh, <laughs> get it. Ow. I'm sorry. Where is this card? Let's see. Dippin' sticks, licky pops, palumpa moose. Where is it? King size, fun size bar. All means debuffs boomerang back to themselves. Eh. <sighs> Eh, I'll keep it in, in my deck for now. Switch back to our superhero and give it a bit more of uh, time to go around. Beat the crap out of you. And let's just continue on the fight. Can I please have one monster again like last time? Because that would be amazing. Please? Thank you, game! You are officially my best friend now. I didn't notice the like giant jack lands at the end of each of the arena... Uh, that's actually kind of a cool, like, thing. Even though someone who officially hates Halloween has something that has Halloween-like things at the end, I don't understand it. This poor, poor Grubbin Magnus never stood a chance. Should be getting enough for an upgrade pretty soon. What's my candy count? Yep, I have enough for an upgrade, I believe. Hopefully. Gonna go have a check, make sure this stupid Donald drone doesn't see me. He's over there, so I'm gonna sneak over here. Do you have an upgrade for me? 150, damn it. Maybe after this next fight will be enough. Ah! Skates, so hard to control. 
Also, should probably go back to that kid and see if I have a copy of that creepy cheat card he's been looking for. Oh well. Hopefully this is the last fight. And if so, I will be very, very happy. If not, I will be very, very sad. And of course, you can give me a monster. But hey, my prayers have been answered from last video where I said, could I please have a monster that's one week against each of our costumes? So I guess there's that. Uh, I'll give him a sweet justice. I just want to get these fights out of the way fast so we can just continue on and hopefully get this series done. Take out the operative. Nice for that amazing. You take out that guard. Alright, who are you gonna attack? I'm guessing top. Damn, I'm good at this. Alright. And he just buffed himself, which won't last for long because he is now dead. Don't think I have enough to pass the threshold of candy I need. Maybe? Ah, damn it. Just below the threshold. I don't really need any food because I took no damage that fight, which is very good. You guys were closer in that in the pregame asset than it was in the cutscene. That's weird. The clock must be in there somewhere. We have to, we have to get it back before they figure out how to fix it. We'll get back the clock, but you guys need to be careful out here. There are guards everywhere. No shit, Ren! Don't worry, we'll wait for you underneath the fountain you showed us. Good luck. Good luck not getting yourselves killed. I mean, we sent small children to go steal back something from an evil organization, but you know what? The adults don't need anything about it. Uh oh. Locked door. Ah, come on! Did he just dive off, like, that high railing? Wow, that guy is determined to take me down. I'm half tempted to throw this fight just so you guys can take me down. Wow, those are some buff scientists. Technicians and a chemist. Well, since the chemist is our their magic user, which is weird because they're all scientists, I guess makes sense for the most part. I'll have you take out the technician. I completely messed up the timing on that. Uh, I guess I'll have you focus on the chemist because you're weak against those technicians. Oh, you son of a bitch. Well, I know who my target is now. You just sealed your fate, pal. You shouldn't have shown me that you're their team medic. Oh, how you wish you didn't. I guess it's a good thing he healed him because now I can actually get the right timing on this, although... Doesn't make up for the fact that I still suck at timing? Possibly? Eh, whatever. The chemist is dead. And of course, now their technicians are buffing themselves. I like how they changed the canes from these crest walkers from the first game, where they were sort of like ninjas, and now they're carrying like uh, two sc scrapers. Finish off this technician, because he's the bigger threat. He's a little weakest target, and hopefully Haley takes out the last of his health, please. Thank you, Haley. You have redeemed yourself. Damn it. I have no idea what the hell just happened there.
This is one resilient scientist. Holy hell! Dash of splash. Oh, that's why it was splash damage buff he put on himself. That makes all the sense now. I thought it was just a damage buff, but nope, splash damage. Shady, are you, are you in here? I could go for an upgrade now. Yeah, might as well eat some candy. Mm. These doors have security lines, but you know what can sneak past security lines? A spooky ghost! This, you know what? You know what? Ah, damn it, it he's a required fight. Ah, oh, well. Ooh, I've come to haunt you! I'm the box ghost! Beware! That is just absolutely funny. He pulls glasses over his glasses. Er, well, goggles. That fight was a bit more annoying than it needed to be. Seriously. Those... It was the same setup. I guess I hindered myself because I was still the ghost. I thought the ghost was good against magic. That's my own fault for not switching back to a magic-based enemy before going into that fight. Anyways, we get ourselves a green key card from that scientist's desk, so we're gonna sneak out through here, and we're going to find out that door that that green key card goes to, which apparently is this one. I know the drill this time. And we'll go with Team Wolf. We might might want to eat some candy before we go into this fight. And I see a kid hiding back there. Gotta remember him for later. And that fight went a little bit better. They decided to switch it up a bit, throw two chemists in the ring and instead of one. And, eh, what can you do? Got ourselves an orange key card now, so Lord knows what we need that for. Probably to get into... An, to get outside the research lab. No, go back in through the front door. I'm going to switch my ghost just because I don't want to go into any random encounters. I might fight these guys off screen if I can get low on candy and just want to get some. And while I'm an idiot, I completely miss the fact that there's a fountain up here. Also, I just realized the candy, my candy count is the exact same as my birthday year, birthday year, year day, day year, whatever. It means we seem to be in some sort of lab laboratory type thing and we can see I guess you could say uh, costume designs they were gonna go with looks like we got like a butterfly costume we got a turtle costume got another random fight or I guess mandatory since we're fighting scientists in here but still but still not one not two but three chemists in that fight wow they really are just throwing the curveballs of Hey, you got the wrong costumes for this, so we're going to send you enemies that are strong against the costumes you're wearing. Hey. Alright, you know what? You know what? We're going Pharaoh for this one, just in case Haley dies on me, because it looks like she's about to. In fact, probably a good idea to... Oh. Duh, you idiot! You just leveled up! What the hell are you thinking? And I... Ruined the chance to get the sneak attack on him. Great. <sighs> Almost went bad. Almost did, but I came out on top. Alright, Haley, we'll get you some water. Jeez, I've never seen someone as parched as you before. But, anyways, we head back into this room. Check it out. We can interact with this thing over here. We get ourselves a new costume! Yay, we're a hot dog! Woo? In all seriousness, I, I do like the hot dog costume. Unfortunately, it's another magic, strong against magic, weak against monsters costume. We have never gotten anything that's good against tech enemies besides Jefferson. But, the hot dog's focus is multi attacks. Uh, basically, it I think it has, like, it attacks. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It, like, attacks multiple times on an enemy. What the? Jumbo Hot Dog, my prayers have been answered! Hey, you're not a savory hot dog, you're an unsavory trespasser! Uh, yeah, that's right, you kind of need this costume to fight him, and 
Oh my god, he's so cute! If ever, never in my life did I ever want to say, Damn it, I want to plush that hot dog. Well, right now it did it. And yes, it gave it a Cerberus look. I love it. And each of like the heads has like an aesthetic going to it. Like one head has relish, one has mustard, one has ketchup. And look at its little hot dog tail wagon. It's so adorable. All right. Well, you, well, since you were hungry, sir, why don't I give you a supersized combo meal? Relish, ketchup, mustard. Your powers combine. Give me the ability to. <laughs> All right, we'll take out this technician over here. Strange we haven't seen monster-type enemies for the Crestwalkers, but I guess the fact that these are scientists makes sense that they're magic and technological base and not monster base. Whatever. Let's take out this chemist over here. The Wow! Didn't think I'd actually do that much damage to him. Ah, don't attack the hot dog! It's so adorable! He's too cute to be attacked! Oh, look at him! Look at him! He's rolling around! He's, oh, he's so cute! I really want to pleasure that hot dog. Get the tree out of the candy. I can think I can get two upgrades for one thing. Anyways, the door's shut. We're trapped in here. They're coming. They won't be coming for us. We gotta get out of here. Let's go around for a way out. I hear them coming. Hurry! Even though. I don't think, no matter how long we wait here, no monsters actually show up, uh, whatever. Over to the wall, beat the crap out of it, and somehow we end up in the sewer system. Thank goodness you're okay. Did you find the clock? Yep, we found it. I hope you can fix it. It's not exactly that complicated, if you understand quantum theory and basic clockmaking principles. Uh, the hands are jammed. It's only going to open the same time home from ho before. You mean to the bayou? I think so, but that won't do us any good. Yeah, that's after Dr. White stole the talisman. So what now? Well, either we find a way to uh, unstick those clock hands, or we'll have to wait to get the talisman from Dr. White. We'll snip around and see if we can locate the talisman. I'll keep working on the clock. Okay, be right back. Back up to the compound. I, re I really want that hot dog plush. It's so adorable. It's so adorable. But before we do that, we're going to go for and get some upgrades. Maybe a creepy tree card or two. So we get a creepy tree cards? Nope. Still haven't gotten that. Smooches. All right. Do we have an upgrade for the hot dog? No. Yes, we do. Actually, we got felt squares. Affix the felt squares to your costume to add toppings to your attack set, but that costs me the majority of the candy I have. I could get this and a creepy and a and the creepy treat card, so I think I'll do that. I want to stick with the hot dog for a bit. Oh, so there's actually a, the ghost upgrade I almost went past. Uh, green die. Uh, green ghosts are even spookier and harder to damage. Hmm, interesting. I think I'll go with the hot dog for now because I, I'm just so fixated on it. G gonna get upgrade, well, the map to the research lab, even though I probably don't need it. What to get? What to get? We got cherry nods, auto resurrect next defeated hero with 50% health. That's like the pharaoh on steroids, but we already have the pharaoh. Two times the battle speed. I have no idea why the hell I'd get that. Uh, next three defeats are automatic. Next three defense are automatic blocks. Hmm, interesting. All remaining attacks from the hero are amazing. All heroes are invulnerable from the next defensive round. That's pretty good. Cthulhu Chew. Eh, I get it. Peanut butter bombs. Obliterates all... That just sealed the deal for me. And all minions drain 25% health per turn. Interesting. But now we got some condiments, even though the field sprite for it's kind of lacking. But I think it's the camera that's doing most of the work. And unfortunately, we're stuck with two pieces of candy. Sad. Sad. That's the saddest thing you ever see on a Halloween night. Whoop. Who's this sh shady bastard that's sneaking around over here? Hey, we were much closer to that before the cutscene.
I don't know how we're gonna get in there, but at least we know where the talisman is. So all of that, we just gotta pop our head up here, like happy little moles, and then just pop our heads right back underground. Got the time hole open, but it's useless. It's some it's the same one from before. We found the talisman, but we're not getting into that either unless you know how to hack a retina scanner. No, I'm not that good. You can only get through those with this right eyeballs. Hey, with this time hole, we can go back and get Oral's eyeballs. I want this to be over too, but that's a little gross. No, we can convince him to come back with us. That sounds a bit like a long shot to me, but I'll leave the time hole open if you want to try it. We're going to go back to the house and see if we can use my tools to on this clock. Guys, I don't want to leave you hanging, but I think I'm going to go with my parents. Sorry. That's okay. We'll catch up with you later, Haley. Thanks for your help. See you guys soon. So, yeah, sadly, Haley had to leave our party. At least she was considerate enough to leave the pterodactyl costume with us. Be careful. Dr. White is more dangerous than he looks. Good luck trying to convince Oral. Well, t back to the brother and sister. Nothing more to do. But I think we're going to save that for next time. Next time on Costume Quest 2, we're going to head back to the past. See if we can convince Oral to help us get through that retina scanner. And then hopefully get the talisman back. I'll see you guys next time. Later.